we're growing these nutritious sweet potatoes above ground. This method increases yields, produces larger potatoes, and can be used where rich soil is in short supply. We're growing lettuce using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year in this one small area. Jeez. Here's something you don't see every day. Tomatoes growing on trees. These plants were originally discovered by Chinese scientists. Tomato trees live longer and produce many more tomatoes. One of ours lived 16 months and produced over 32,000 fruits. Much of the produce you see growing in our greenhouses is served at the restaurants here at the land. It's awesome, huh? This is amazing. The future of agriculture includes some high-flying ideas like the ones you see here. The aquaponic system on your left integrates hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a source of natural fertilizer for the plants and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using uh. less resources. In our lab, Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these efforts is to produce higher yielding and better quality plants. Amazing, huh? It's edible. These greenhouses represent just a tiny portion of the work being done worldwide to produce powerful harvests for our growing population. Around the globe, scientists, farmers, and even backyard gardeners are doing their part to improve the quality and yields of foods that we all rely upon. By working together, we can continue to find innovative ways to increase food production and protect our precious natural environment. Only then will we truly be living with the land.